Mr. Larson, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, just to refresh the memory of Ms. Mago, I would like to uh, show uh, a video footage. This is a one minute, 20 second uh, video footage just to refresh her memory. Uh, I, I disaccord upon my interpolation uh, of um, uh, Ms. Ms. Mago. Uh, if I may be allowed, Mr. Chairman. Please, uh, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any Now, kanina merong uh, uh, claim, yung napanood nyo naman siguro yung video na pinalabas ni uh, Senator Tiberos, di ba? And your name was commonly mentioned. How would you respond to that? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would have to watch the video again because I believe there are a few or even more allegations that I'm not sure if I heard it correctly. But then with the regards to the changing of the stickers, of the um of the items um my response would be that this was a supply concern i raised this concern to our management and that was the solution that was given to us as a follow up mr chairman yes go ahead, sir. ordered you to give that instruction to the warehouse man since you admitted already that you gave instruction now who instructed you to give that instruction i suppose it was not uh in your uh, on your own initiative that you gave that instruction right yes mr chairman um oh, the uh, instructions came from our management who particularly um i received the instructions from the who uh, the ppc management particularly mr mohit dergani Mr. Chairman, I, I showed that uh, video because when the House of Representatives took custody of Ms. Uh, Ms. Mago, she denied. And uh, she even implied that uh, she was intimidated uh, upon our uh, interpolation, upon questioning of the uh, Senate Blue Ribbon Committee. Now, I'd like to ask Ms. Mago, uh, were you intimidated when I uh, was interpolating you? Did you feel intimidated? Yes, well, yes, Mr. Chairman. You felt intimidated? The video showed. <laughs> kita kita sa video, if you were intimidated, ah, I was very cool in my uh, interpolation. Hindi kita tinatakot, di ba? So I intimidated you? Is that what you're saying now? Um, certainly there was pressure po, Mr. Chairman. From me? Um, uh, for the whole investigation po. So you lied because you were under pressure? You're not telling the truth? That's what you're telling us now? Um, Mr. Chairman, I already said my piece po sa House of Representatives. No, 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 I'm asking you a question. So you felt pressured. You felt intimidated. And that's the reason why you did not tell the truth? You lied in your testimony in the Senate because you felt intimidated? You felt pressured by me? Can you answer my question? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I did feel pressure po for the whole investigation. At the same time, I was trying not to uh, be evasive and um, answer questions po kasi there is also a threat of um, contempt, being cited in contempt kapag evasive po. Ako, maging evasive ako sa mga questions po ng Senate. Okay. So I, I will repeat my question. You felt pressured so you did not tell the truth or you told the truth? when you said that you were instructed by Mr. Mohit Gargani, Gargani to change the stickers? Um, Mr. Chairman, I would like to invoke my right against self-incrimination because um, I believe this question has a threat. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, I'm only asking you because it's already on, on video. Did you lie when you answered my question? Um, again, Mr. Chairman, I would like to invoke my right against self-incrimination. Um, as also uh, advised to me by my legal counsel, mm -hmm. because um, this there is um, a threat to perjury, Mr. Chairman. 
Mr. Chairman, I leave it up to you. <laughs> yes, I'd like to yield to the minority leader. I'm always the, the last guy. To, uh, Ms. Mago, I, I, I really advise you to, you, you cannot invoke it anymore because the, 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 the load of evidence is against you. Nakita naman, kalmadong kalmado pa, tinatanong ka ni Senator Lapson. Wala namang hint na ini-intimidate ka, pero kalmadong kalmado ka, sinabi mo, I refer to the management. In fact, you were trying to be evasive. Nahihiya ka siguro. Sabi mo, yung management. And then later on, you said, unaided. You said, he didn't even ask you. Sinabi mo ba? Sinabi ba sa iyo ni Senator Lacson? Si, si Dargani ba yun? Si Mohit ba? Hindi niya sinabi yan. Ikaw ang nagsabi ng pangalan ni Dargani. Correct? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. So I advise you, there's no point. You're safe here. You're safe here. Wala kami tinatakot sa iyo. Eh, for your sake, para you find yourself again, you find your moral compass again, and that is my advice to you. Great, you can have a great future still. Tinatanong ka eh, talo ka na sa parada eh, nakita na kagad yung sinabi mo eh. Kung papakita ko ulit yung tinanong kita, kung nags, na, 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 loko mo, na, na swindle mo yung gobyerno, gano'n rin ang, ang, uh, ako mo. I don't think you're a congenital liar. Is that the kind of uh, image you want to project? I don't think you want to do that, right? Right? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Ang totoo niya, nape-pressure ka, dahil naan niya kasi isang kumpanya, na napilitan ka na, dahil siyempre kasama mo araw-araw yung mga yun, mababait naman yan eh. Pag, pag nakikita ko si Mojit, mukhang mabait eh. Ha? Uh, mukhang kubo eh. Ha? Eh, siguro dapat, uh, hindi ka na, ang totoo, hindi ka naman na-intend. I'm not gonna convey you whatever you want to say. But I don't think you were intimidated. So you have to answer. Okay. Under the law, you have to answer. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I do admit that there was a pressure po for me to respond. That's why, um, uh, well, there was a pressure for me to respond directly. And um, of course, yung time constraint po to answer the questions. That's why um, yung mga naging sagot ko were inaccurate. Inaccurate. Opo, and then that's why But I you mean, volunteering the information. Yes, for Mr. Chairman, I do admit that. But then in my statement in the House, I um explained and I expounded on kung bakit po nasabi kong pressured response po yun. So you really lied. Now you're convincing me that you really lied, uh, Chriselle. Mr. Chairman, nimbento mo lang yung si Dargani ang nagsabi sa'yo. Ganun ba? Um, Mr. Chairman. Uh, may I just uh, ask her to answer, uh, Senator Lacson? Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, instructions for to repack really came from the um, PPC management, formally management po. Kaya nga, management nga. Tapos ikaw na rin volunteer ng pangalan ni Mojit Dragani, correct? Since tinanong, po ako, since tinanong po ako, Mr. Chairman, directly kung sino, kanino nga po um, nanggaling yung instructions that, um, and sinagot ko po yung pangalan ni Mr. Dargani, um, actually that was also inaccurate kasi po generally I take instructions from Mr. Mohit. But for the instructions po to repack, it actually came from the formally management. Sa amin pong group chat, nag-agree po sila doon to do the repacking and um, ayun din po yung um, instructions that I took. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think it's a credible thing and I advise you to tell the truth because uh, uh, ka lalo eh. Yes, Senator Lacson? I'm not giving yes, up on it. Uh, I yeah. really don't. Uh, you know, I, I really believe that uh, she's lying now. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Sabi niya kanina, na-pressure siya na baka ma-charge siya ng perjury. In other words, na-pressure siya magsabi ng totoo. That's the implication of her statement. Now, Kasi sabi niya, she felt pressured na baka ma-site siya or ma-charge siya ng perjury. So babalikan ko siya ulit, na-pressure siya na magsabi ng totoo. Hindi siya na-pressure para mag -lie. If at all, na totoo ang sinabi niya, na-pressure siya. Because it doesn't appear that way, Mr. Chairman. As you show in the video, she was very calm. Eh? And sabi niyo nga kanina, unaided lahat. I did not even mention the name of Ma Mohit Gargani. In fact, I had no idea who uh, gave her the instruction to replace the stickers. 
uh, that's the only thing I want to say uh, uh, as of now, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And why would she say that anyway? Hindi naman natin sinasabi si Mojin Dergani pa. Siya na sabi. Hindi mo naman sinabi sa kanya si Mojin Dergani pa. No. I hope you you appreciate your position, young lady. Huh? Please. Na, nasasayangan ako sa'yo. Because uh, you lied. You were not under threat of perjury. You perjured yourself when you said that. Kung talagang totoo yung sinasabi mo. So now, it's like one lie deserves another lie when you go to the one, uh, to the other chamber. Uh, anyway, yes, Senator uh, Lisa. Uh, 